All right, guys, if you like finding rocks and looking for them in the Pacific Northwest region, then this is the channel for you. We share all of our locations here. Today, I am on 97 somewhere, about five miles south of Biggs, and I found a little deposit of what appears to be like a church, jasper, or flint of some kind. So I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, uh, show you where it's located at. There's probably not gonna be too much going on here. I'm gonna list a few things here uh, that you'll need. Um, I had to make a correction in the video, so mind the hair. I did get a haircut and had to come back and refilm, so mind that. But here's what we need here for the trip. This is not a child-friendly spot. Uh, this is probably meant for just a couple people, just a handful. Probably should bring long sleeve or long pants of some kind. Uh, probably some sturdy boots. Uh, probably don't want to bring your dog with you on this trip. Um, or cat, I mean, depending on who you are. Rubber boots, that was a big help. That was a huge help. Probably want to bring a hammer and some goggles. Uh, definitely a hard helmet if you have it. I didn't bring mine with me and there was rocks coming down like the entire time uh, because this is a fresh, this is a fresh grading project so you can imagine all that rock is still loose up there so be careful and uh, always have a spotter, you know, have a spotter look while one person grabs and take turns, you know, going back and grabbing, a, you know, another piece. Um, you know, a helmet's only going to help you so much. We don't want you to end up like Lord of the Flies, so don't don't hurt yourself be careful and uh, bring a helmet and have a spotter anyways guys i'm going to show you where to go and how to get there it's really easy all right guys so you're going to be walking this way and as you're walking you'll see mud hollow road right there i've actually checked this spot out before and i never found anything so it's kind of cool that there's actually something here you're going to walk this way right here you're going to head up on the left side of the road the right side depending on what you're looking at I guess that would be, what would that be, the east side of the road? Yeah, whatever side that you park on anyways. Look how beautiful this canyon is. Can you imagine owning that property over there? And here we are, the road cut. Coordinates right there. So I had to, uh, oh my God, I literally just, I think I found an arrowhead. No. So here's a little tiny piece that I just found. Yeah, this area is kind of sketchy. I honestly, I would wait maybe a couple weeks before coming out here um, from this video. Yeah, let's see if we can find some pieces of Jasper. We got kind of this little piece right here. Nice little piece of Jasper. I'm gonna take that one. Woo hoo, this is fun guys. I can't believe this is, it's been a while since I found something good. Grab some of these smaller pieces. I like the smaller pieces because sometimes they're a little bit more intricate. It's kind of an interesting piece right here. Look at that smokiness right there. See how it's smoky? That's so cool. This muddy kind of stuff here, this muddy kind of brown stuff has, uh, you can kind of see here that it has like a quartz filling some of the pockets, like a druzy quartz, which is kind of nice. So if that's your thing, check this out. I wish I could take that. Look at it. That's such a big piece. So we're just looking at these kind of buggy, buggy pieces of basalt, seeing if we can see anything on them, but I really don't. It's micro mineralization right there. You can kind of see a little bit of shininess. Let's see if we can move the camera so you can see that shininess there. There we go. Good thing I brought my backpack. I considered not bringing my backpack. <laughs> oh man, that would have been, that would have been fun. I have to be really careful over here. I'd probably recommend a helmet. Um, I don't have one right now because I was just driving by and saw it and I had to I had to stop Like that's literally freshly Freshly blasted. I think they've been working on this for a while. So you see right behind me right there is the little deposit So I think all that stuff's kind of breaking off you can see All this stuff right here. It's just on the ground. I'm sorry. The lighting is so bad right now on the ground though. 
all over the place. Look, look at this. So there's plenty, probably for a good little while, you can find this stuff here before, you know, all of us rock counters, but let's be very nice. Trying to get a bunch of spots in this area. I'm just trying to find a couple big spots, a couple Jasper in the Bigs area, Sherman County. So if you know any other spots that are public, let me know, I'd like to know. Here, it's a little bit more of the smoky gray to white color. Uh, it does, it does look like chert. It really does, but uh, I know that there's something called Wasco White in this vicinity out here, and uh, it's about this area, so I'm kind of wondering if that's it. I hope it is, I really do. So if you guys know what Wasco White is, please let me know below, and if you think that uh, it is that, just, just comment below and let me know, because I, I, I'm kind of learning still. I'm learning all this other stuff. I just moved to this area, so I don't know, the, you know all the different types of jaspers and minerals out here. So thanks, guys, and uh, see you guys next time.